Thank you, Emily. Well, here we are, a little more than halfway through the year, at this moment, looking forward to the rest of the year. We're at this point today where it sure feels like a lot has happened, and it feels like it's been a lot we've had to deal with. It's been a busy week, a busy month. It's been a busy summer. It's just this nonstop pressure and rush. Maybe when you think about it, it gets overwhelming. Where did we come from? And you think about all the things that have gone wrong, like how the greenhouse fish died again and you lost 200 heads of lettuce due to a power outage. Maybe you got into another fight, or maybe you don't know what your health looks like, or maybe you're having issues with your finances, or maybe you're having relationship trouble. Maybe your garden died. Maybe you don't know what your kid is up to. Or maybe there's worry about what the school year is going to be like. What about the kids or the grandkids? How will the college year go? The weather has been difficult. We've had in our state 24 tornadoes this month. And we don't know what the weather forecast going forward will be. What is next? Where are we going? How do we get there? It's just all so much. And with that, I just want to say stop for a moment. I want to say I am thankful that everyone who came to hear me speak came. I haven't done a sermon at The Rock before, just homilies and readings, and it's a real honor today to come up here to The Rock. So I want us all to take a large moment and take a big, deep breath. Today, we celebrate Lunasa, which means we celebrate the first fruits of the harvest, as Emily said. But I don't think you can honor and celebrate while you're busy fretting and worrying and thinking and planning and feeling all of the anxiety. We can't celebrate when we're not present, so I invite everybody to take another deep breath. I want everyone to reflect on the positive accomplishments that they have personally done so far this year, no matter how big, no matter how small. Hold those in your mind and reflect on it and remember how it made you feel. All of your work yields different kinds of harvests. I invite you to consider today the ripe fruits that you maybe bought that you maybe grew. Savor the ripe fruits, this metaphor of your work. Sit back and enjoy them. I empower everybody to take this moment to be present, celebrate our community, celebrate our friendships, and celebrate the work that we've done. If you've been feeling mentally scattered, I invite you to take today to slow down and take a break. Use that rest that you very much deserve and spend some time appreciating all of the little things today. It has been too easy to be swept into the worrying anxiety of how the year will end. It's too hard to stay present right now in this moment and just be grateful. The kids are not yet starting their next school year, but they finished the last. So now they sit on the balance of who they were and who they will be, with back-to-school sales and advertisements filling them with dread or excitement. When I was a child, it was too easy for August to pass in the blink of an eye, and that long-awaited summer break suddenly ended. For my son, summer break seems, even to me, to be one week too short. He goes back to school August 14th, as many other youth in our community are as well. I implored him, as I implore you, to savor every last drop of those long nights. Enjoy every summer outdoor concert you can. Enjoy the sweet taste of those first zucchinis and that sun-warmed garden tomato. 
Enjoy those simple pleasure of a tomato sandwich, sandwich, sliced fresh with some salt and pepper on fresh bread, or the crisp snap of garden ripe peas. The cool taste of a cucumber salad, and that's what honoring the first fruits are sitting in reverence and savoring the moments. Set down your work and rest in this day, grateful for yourself. And think about who else contributed to your successes over the first half of the year. Maybe seek them out and express your thanks. Celebrate your wins together. Even your smallest triumph should be celebrated today. Rest in this moment before the harvest begins, before school's first quarter closes, before you do your year-end performance review at work, before you finalize your holiday plans. We have so much to do this fall as parents, as grandparents, as citizens, as parishioners, as employees, as proprietors, as gardeners, as teachers, Use this time to celebrate and conserve your energy. Live in gratitude, and staying in this moment is the best way to prepare yourself for that future. Thank you.